What are you doing in Haven? There's nothing for you here. What do you want? Ask and be on your way. Haven's always been here. My family knows no other home. Father Eirik is our spiritual leader and guide. Revered father? I've never heard of this. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. Our ways are not the ways of the lowland cities. The urn is nothing but a legend. I do not know who Brother Jenna TV is or what he says. However, I'm sure people can convince themselves of anything. No. We do not appreciate lowlanders looking about our home as though it was some sort of zoo. Who? Perhaps revered Father Eirik will know of whom you speak. Unfortunately, he's ministering to the villagers at the moment and cannot be disturbed. A revered father, huh? That's new. I wonder what this means. It's always been thus in Haven. We do not question tradition. You may trade for supplies at the shop if you wish. Then I suggest you and your companions leave. Did it just get a lot colder, or is it just me? Where you up? Who are you? You shouldn't be here. I asked you first. Who? Why would you come here looking for someone? Lowlanders don't belong here. Often with Kaylin. You're asking me if I have a relationship with my brother, aren't you? Allow me. Yes. I, I wonder what he thought you. of you. I don't think he cared much about my existence. I didn't mean anything to him. Anyway, to answer your original question, no. We never spoke. Well, maybe once. Marek and Kaylin had come to Redcliffe to visit the Arl. I was very young then. We were introduced. I believe I said, greetings, your highness. He said, ooh, sword, and ran off to the armory. So, yes, that was the extent of our relationship. We drifted apart after that. Very sad. I've never heard of any village out this way. Is this place even on a proper map? You're not from Haven. We... we don't get very many visitors. How would you describe the place you know only as home? I don't have much, but I suppose you can take a look.
hear that? There's people in the Chantry. We are blessed beyond measure. We are chosen by the Holy and beloved to be her guardians. This sacred duty is given to us alone. Rejoice, my brethren, and prepare your hearts to receive her. Lift up your voices and despair not, for she will raise her faithful servants to glory when her... I understand that you are new here. But common courtesy dictates that one shouldn't interrupt. No matter. We were just about done here anyway. But your reverence, we have not completed the sacraments of the Holy Mother or, or, or sung the invocation. Be calm, Nodda. We have an honored guest. Surely the sacraments can wait. That is all for today, my children. I shall see you tomorrow. For now, I should see to our visitor. You can't just leave. What will you do then? Tell others about us? This is our home. We protect each other. And the village. We find outsiders disruptive. They bring others. And before long, Haven is changed. We will go to any lengths to prevent that. You understand a man's need to protect his family, don't you? Brothers, you know what must be done. Ha! Let's wipe them out quickly! Who are you? They... they've sent you to finish it. You don't know how glad I am to see someone who isn't from this village. I... Oh, the leg's not doing so well, and I can't feel my foot. I can set the leg and ease some of the pain, but he'll need a lot of rest in order to heal. I don't have time to rest now. I'm so close. The urn is just up that mountain. The Arl is sick. Will he live? Politics never did anyone any good. The Arl is a noble soul. But the ashes, the ashes will surely cure him. Haven lies in the shadow of the mountain that holds the urn. There is an old temple there built to protect it. The door is always locked, but I know what that key is. Irik wears a medallion that opens the temple door. I've seen what he does with it. Yes, that is your key. Take me to the mountainside and I will show you. Ah, oh, good. Help me up here. Ah, ah. I'll try not to slow us down.
Here we are. Give me the medallion, and let's see if I remember. Yes, yes, you see, it, it can be manipulated, just like this. And there, a key to open the way. There are very few keys like this left in the world, but I have seen some. When you find the right combination, it just feels right. It is hard to explain. Now, let's see if we can open this door. There should be a place to insert this. Oh, what I would give to have seen this hall in all its splendor, as it was meant to be. Still, sweep away the ice and the snow, and traces of beauty remain. I'm sorry, what? Uh, I was a little distracted, I apologize. These carvings were created just after Andraste's death, and they may reveal things about her life that we do not yet know. I think I need more time to study these statues and carvings. I could not keep up with you with my injuries. I should be safe. I don't think there are any villagers here. Go. I will be all right. Perhaps my destiny was only to lead you to the Anne. It was designed to protect the Anne from those who would steal it, or do harm to it. Namely, the Taventer Imperium. I'm not sure. The legends were never very specific on that point. Only the faithful shall lay eyes on the sacred ashes. Death and misfortune await the unbeliever. The Maker's gaze has fallen on Andraste's final resting place. He weeps for his beloved, and his wrath at her betrayers endures. That is what the legend says, and the Maker may indeed watch this place. Read between the lines, however, and you'll understand that it is merely a simple truth draped in hyperbole and metaphor. After all, no one wants to hear Willy toiled for many a year to perfect the curious mechanisms that would send a sharpened spike up the arse of the unwary intruder. I think my decision to stay here was the best one, don't you? I'll be right here if you need me. Hmm, now I need something to write. So. I finished.
What's on your mind? Hmm. Is something troubling you? You are one of the two surviving Grey Wardens in Ferelden. You defend all of us, and much rests on your shoulders. It may not mean much to you, but thank you for having the courage to continue to fight. And that gives me hope. Yes. And I'm off.
That's a wonderful thought. I don't know what to say. Oh, how dear of you. Thank you so much. Is that for me? Really? Oh, marvelous. Why, thank you so much. Not happening. Enemy ahead. Watch out. Now let's see, which one first? And done. Have you heard much about the Grey Wardens of old? It was said that watching the Wardens ride in on their white griffins was enough to rouse a weary heart and put the dance back in the step of an old man. The Grey Wardens were powerful, feared and respected, but they also inspired the common people. I remember a tale that was told to me many years ago. The Blight had ravaged the land for months, and the armies of the great kings had amassed for one last stand. As the sun burst through the clouds that boiled and churned in the dark sky above, it illuminated a vast, seething horde of darkspawn, with the archdemon at its head. And it was then, when courage seemed to fail, and all lost to death and despair, that the Grey Wardens came. They arrived with the beating of wings like mighty war drums and stood before the armies of men. The Grey Wardens, grim and fearless, marched forth, ever between the men and the encroaching darkspawn. They formed a shield of their own bodies and held that line until the Archdemon was dead and the last darkspawn lay trampled in the dirt. And then, 
demanding neither reward nor recognition for their sacrifice. The Grey Wardens departed. When the clouds finally rolled back and the sun shone full upon the blighted ground, the Great Kings knew that they had lost no men and none of their blood had been spilled. This is a tale about no battle the Grey Wardens have fought, and yet about them all. They have always defended us from the Darkspawn, taking losses so we do not have to. People may have forgotten over the centuries, but nothing has changed. This knowledge has been blessing and burden to Grey Wardens past, and now it shall be your blessing and your burden. Allow me. I could do that for you. What now? Allow me. I could do that for you. It's done. Wipe them out quickly. around part is awesome mm -hmm.